or worship songs often divide opinion. And one that seems to do that a lot is Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You. It just has something about it that some people love and some really don't. The second verse though says, We're pilgrims on a journey and companions on the road. We're here to help each other. Walk the mile and bear the load. Whether you like that hymn or not, those words are really important because they remind us that our Christian journey isn't something that most of us are called to do in isolation. We need each other for support, for encouragement, for wisdom, for all kinds of things. And of course, this is something that was modelled in the Bible. Think of Jesus spending time with his disciples that we hear so much about and with other people. Think of the book of Acts where we're told of people in the early church meeting together, sharing food, enjoying fellowship, being together. We talk of being a Christian family. A lot of our church language is about community, about being together. And yet we often restrict the time together to times of worship and allow ourselves to live out our faith, often isolated from other Christians and often in isolation from the rest of what's happening in our lives. People often think that something extra is going to take time we haven't got, but actually small groups are an amazing gift. They offer a time just to be together, to get to know people better, to pray together, to look at the Bible more and think about our questions openly and honestly, and recognise that other people have questions too. As we reflect on the Bible more, we increasingly recognise that it's not an outdated and pretty irrelevant book, but something that can be life-changing. In a small group, there's a chance to discover it more, to talk about things that bother you, confuse you, or excite you. And in the setting of a small group, we recognise that our own faith story, dramatic or not, is really important. And we can build more confidence in that story and our willingness to share it with others. Lots of churches run Lent groups, some Advent courses, but some meet throughout the year with an incredible range of different material being covered. There are loads of resources around, and with the inauguration of all our ministry areas now, it would be really good to see each ministry area offering opportunities for people to get together more. Perhaps offering different groups for different people, different times to suit anyone. There are all kinds of options, but being together, talking together, supporting one another, praying and looking at the Bible together is vital. Jesus didn't say put the kettle on and get a group of friends around, but I do think he'd have encouraged it. Perhaps to put it a bit more formally, from the letter to the Hebrews we read, and let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another.